Hi guys and welcome. My name is Dr. Ngozi Onoha. I'm the founder of Health for Nigeria. So I provide health education content. I have over 30 years of experience in healthcare. So I bring evidence-based health information out. If you see any of the content that's useful to you, definitely share it because it may help someone with their health. And if you find it helpful, you don't want to keep that information to yourself. It could be life-saving for someone else. So definitely share the content. So I'm going to talk about health education and why it is important. Health education has numerous benefits for both individuals and communities. Number one is disease prevention. So health education provides people with the knowledge to identify risk factors and take appropriate measures to prevent disease. So a lot of diseases can be prevented and it is easier to prevent diseases at the early stage of a disease than wait for it to manifest and then try to undo a disease. So disease prevention, very, very important. And you can do that with having the right health education, health information. The second benefit of health education is improved quality of life. So understanding how lifestyle choice affects health can lead to improved dietary habits, increased physical exercise activity rather, which is good for you in the, lo in the long run, reduced stress levels and overall better well-being. Health education can enhance early disease detection. So what's the reason that people get diagnosed late with things because they may have symptoms that they ignore but when you are aware you will seek help sooner rather than later so because you have the ability to recognize these early signs and you seek help so you don't ignore symptoms and you seek help when you should health education promotes increased health literacy so it can uh, improve health literacy and enable individuals understand medical information. Medicine as a whole can be very complex. And I know a lot of um, health educator, myself included, we use terminology that can be quite complex and this might cause confusion for a lot of people. But the thing about some of these medical terminologies the more you hear about them, the more you become familiar. So it's like learning a new language. It is a new language. And the more you listen to some of this medical jargon and medical lingo, the more you understand what it is and you can also explain it to other people. Health education can be cost saving. So when you catch a disease early or you prevent a disease from happening, it can put money in your pocket. So as they say, health is wealth. Empowerment. Health education empowers people with knowledge and skills to take care of their health and control and navigate so they can make informed decisions and they can control their care to some extent they can act as advocate for their health or the health of a family member. So being able to advocate for health is very important. The seventh benefit is community health involvement. So health education promotes the sharing of health information within communities. We saw this during the COVID pandemic and we saw how having uh, better information led to more people getting the COVID vaccine. Improved patient-doctor patient -doctor interaction is another reason for having health education. Having health education creates a better understanding of health concerns and can enhance communication between uh, the patient and the healthcare provider. Lastly, Having health education knowledge can affect a person's behavior and um, encourage attitudes and behaviors that promote healthier lifestyle options. 
So that's what I do. I provide health education content, and this is in various ways. Uh, we try to make it engaging, um, even though we're sharing content that is um, kind of academically maybe heavy. So like medical research summaries, we need to know what's going on, what's new. We share clinical guidelines summaries. Uh, we share health education articles and breaking health news. We inform the public about new medications that are out and so much more. And we try to do this in a way that is, is um, informing, entertaining, and we, we push this out on the various social media platforms. So Health for Niger is on all your social media platforms. So if you've enjoyed listening to this video, Please share this information with your family and friends. Uh, like, make a comment, subscribe to our channels. Uh, we have a podcast on Spotify. Uh, we are on YouTube, on Instagram, and we are on the New Threads app. Check us out on the New Threads app. Check us out on Twitter, on Facebook, and LinkedIn. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for your support. Please subscribe and share this post. Have a wonderful day and be healthy.